Hey everyone and welcome back to the Latent Gamer. Yesterday Rebellion decided to give us the Blood Count Zombie update and I could not wait to jump in and test out the new mortar shotgun that I have been waiting so long for. There are quite a few new things I saw in the game but the first thing I wanted to do was master this weapon and I wanted to see its full potential and trust me, I got what I paid for. So today's video will be split into two parts. First I am going to talk about the easiest possible method to upgrade this gun and then in the second part I will discuss what each perk is all about. And to make this video easy for you, I know they show each challenge column by column so I will talk about each locked perk from top to bottom. And with all of that out of the way, let's get started. The first perk we are going to unlock is a sight mod. To do this we need to dismember 200 enemy limbs. This can be done on any map you want but I personally set my difficulty to easy and 4 player zombie setup to get more zombie spawns. And I use Hitler's welcome party under the chapter, all roads lead to hell. Just run around and kill a few zombies with this bad boy and this should be unlocked in no time. The second perk requires you to kill 15 grenadiers which can be done in the chapter welcome to the jungle. On 4 player zombie setup you will have 2 screamer in your way but you can easily run past them and the door will close behind you. You will then reach a checkpoint where on 4 player zombie setup you will have 4 armored giants and 4 grenadiers waiting for you. Try avoiding the armored giants and kill the grenadiers. When done you can just hit options and restart checkpoint and you will restart on a staircase at a closed door. Do this 4 times and you will have this perk unlocked in no time. For the reload speed mod you are required to kill 50 zombies which should be completed after going for those 200 dismemberments we already talked about. For the sight mod too, you can redo Hitler's welcome party and all you need to do is get 50 double kills or more which should be a piece of cake. The next perk is shell mod level 2 and to unlock this you need 50 suicider kills. There are only 2 maps I can remember that bombards you with suiciders and they are the terror lab, zombie map and meat locker. I chose Meat Locker because you get over 10 suiciders in the beginning on 4 player zombie setup. So all you have to do is ignore the zombie grunts, get the suicider kills and then hit options and restart checkpoint. Do this 5 times and you're golden. For the reload speed mod level 2, you need 150 zombie kills. Just the same, you can get it anywhere you want, I chose Hitler's welcome party. To unlock heavy bayonet level 3, you need to get 60 zombie kills while weapon focus is active. To get this one was a little tricky because I needed 60 zombies in one place while using weapon focus. I didn't go to Hitler's welcome party this time but instead I chose a chapter let's get out of here on their hell base. When you are in the safe room pick up the two bait grenades because you are going to need them. Make sure you have support belt and shotgun ammo pouch in your build to make things easier. After activating the elevator, try killing a few zombies to get your weapon focus ready. Use your bait grenades to lure the zombies in one spot and then start slaying. This is how I unlocked mine and I hope it makes things easy for you too. Before I talk about unlocking the incendiary mod which requires 10 flamer kills, let me talk about the reload speed mod level 3 because you will be doing this first. To unlock the reload mod, you need to kill 50 creepers. The easiest way to do this is choosing the Into Darkness chapter on their meat locker and you have two ways you can do this. You can choose to fight in the darkness every time you flip a switch or you can do what I do and turn on all the lights first then kill the 60 plus creepers that were behind you. This should unlock this perk in one run as long as you play on 4 player zombie setup and then you can fight the flamers in our next tip. So going back to the incendiary mod, after you kill all those zombies you should reach a checkpoint. Now if you continue progressing the map you should find 2 flamers and 4 armor giants. Kill the flamers, hit options and restart checkpoint. If you're lucky just go back and fight the flamers. But if not, you might have to kill all 60 plus creepers again. Just do this around 5 times and you should kill 2 birds with 6 stones. Have fun! The next perk is shell damage level 3 and to unlock this you need to kill 50 armored giants. I'm sure there are easier ways to do this but I chose welcome to the jungle where you get 4 armored giants. Just kill them and restart the chapter and it becomes a no brainer. The next perk is short fuse and to unlock this you need to kill 5 screamers. I did this on the same welcome to the jungle map but due to how many of my grenades I had to use on one screamer I had to fight this monster 5 times or more because I didn't get the kill maybe 1 or 2 times. 
I can't remember. And the last perk is the electric mod level 3. To unlock this you need to kill 50 water grunts so I chose the shadows of Venice map and even though the water grunts are at the end you don't have to do much just full this fountain of blood, kill these suiciders, this shadow demon and you can ignore everything else. If you play this on 4 player zombie setup you should have this done in 2 minutes. Even though there are other maps to do this I chose this one because you get 4 bait grenades in the beginning which made everything as easy as pie. To master this weapon you need to get a dismemberment kill every 4 seconds for a total of 50 kills. This sounds a little challenging but it's just the same as when you kill 60 zombies with weapon focus. Choose a chapter let's get out of here, get your bait grenades and go master your weapon. That's all. So now that we have everything unlocked let's take a look at what all that hard work was for. Under range, your sight mod stops at level 2 which increases the shot range on this weapon. At level 3 you can choose either the heavy bayonet which increases melee damage and a chance of knocking down zombies or the incendiary mod which adds a chance of you firing a flame grenade. Under damage, the shell damage goes all the way to level 3 which greatly increases the amount of secondary explosions which also works on your incendiary and electric mod. Or you can leave it at level 2 and choose a short fuse mod which causes this weapon's grenades to explode on impact. Under reload speed, your reload mod go all the way to level 3 or you can stop at level 2 and choose the electric mod which with the regular grenades and the incendiary grenades combined turn this weapon in a kind of rock paper scissors which is very fascinating and just about the main reason why I love this weapon. So this was a complete guide on the mortar shotgun. If you enjoyed this one, please give this video a thumbs up because it really helps. Subscribe for future videos and ring that bell to always be notified. And I'll see you in the next one.